Long ago, before the white man came, there was a beautiful Indian maiden named Takatu, Dove, and she loved only Akima, Black Bear. To their great joy, and in accordance with the customs of their people, the marriage of Akima and Takatu was arranged. It was to be in three days' time. But then, a great rivalry broke out within the tribe, and the warriors all went off to do battle. Now, Takatu, she waited and watched for two long days from dawn to dusk. On the third day, she put on her ceremonial dress and waited and watched again till dusk. This time, she saw in the distance the warriors returning, carrying a litter. And on the litter was Akima. They laid him beside her, and they spoke the sacred words, and they drank from the cup of life. And then, the wind of time came for Akima. They buried him, and Takatu lay on his grave and wept and wept and could not stop weeping. Now, Takatu lived a long and fruitful life. She wove baskets of great beauty. She even held a seat of honor on the council. But every year, on the anniversary of his death, she went to the grave and lay on her grave in her ceremonial dress and wept and wept and wept. Now one day, the wind of time came for Takatu. The women of the village dressed her in her ceremonial dress, and they took her to be buried beside Akima. When they got there, they noticed all of these small, shiny stones all over Akima's grave. These are the tears of Takatu, they said. Let each of us take one in remembrance of her. Over time, it was found that rubbing these stones would ease great worries. The mission in San Diego even heard of these stones. But over time, the story was forgotten, and they simply became known as worry stones. So, my friends, if you are out walking under the trees today and look down and see a shiny stone, pick it up and put it in your pocket, because you never know.